Hello everyone, welcome back to the multi-threading programming in C Sharp. In this video, we will cover like how we protect our shared resource from concurrent access in multi-threading using the monitor class. In the previous video, where we discussed how to protect our shared resource using the lock class. Similar to this one, we will protect it using the monitor class. So basically, both monitor class and the lock provide a mechanism that synchronous access to the object lock is basically a shortcut for this monitor class this monitor class basically use like this monitor dot enter basically we use using the try catch and the finally block so let's see how we implement the uh, to protect shared resource from the monitor so now in the previous video where we discussed like we were um, protecting our this some shared resource using this lock mechanism now to protect it using this monitor so what we have to do we have to make it a small changes and that is like first we have to write the monitor dot enter and this monitor dot enter is basically a an object and what object it take it take that lock related variable now next thing what we have to do like the code we have to write with the monitor we have to use with a try catch block as per your code you can write the catch block also but currently like in my case it's not required so i am using the finally block and now this particular line of code we have to put it inside this one and we have to get rid of this one and now in the finally block we have to use the monitor dot exit and this one we have to exit from the log so currently like what is happening as we discussed uh, in the previous video this log class basically what it do it uh, like it allow to wait the another thread until the thread like the first thread doesn't complete the execution and similar to this one this monitor dot enter like for an example if there is a three threads like three threads is coming so now the first thread is reading this code so other thread has to wait until the first thread has to complete the execution of the code now first thread complete the execution that will come here and it will exit that code then the next thread will start the execution and third thread has to wait so this way this monitor class works so the behavior of processing of the code for the monitor and the log is the same only with the monitor we use the try catch and finally block like we have the more advanced control over this log so that is the use of this one so let's run this application and see the output So we can see our total sum is just similar to this one like previously we were getting now how many times you run this code you will get the same output and that is related to the this 14 something. So that is the output we are getting now if you will go to the definition of this monitor class. So you will see here there are so many method we have as per our requirement. So like if you want to more control to implement advanced multi-threading solution using this uh, enter so you can use either this enter method or you can use this uh, try enter also and we have wait pause and pause all methods so there are so many methods we can implement our threading system so now let's implement it using the like there is a another like we are having that is the first it take the object and then lock taken so through that one we will implement it so for doing that one first what we have to do we have to take a one local variable so to understand this overload version of this one the like basically this monitor dot enter which accept the lock object and then another variable is the reference variable and it says like it is a lock taken so it acquire an exclusive lock on the specified object it then automatically set a value that indicate whether the lock was taken or not the second parameter which is boolean parameter return true if the lock is acquired else it return the false so now let's start implementing it once so first let's take a that boolean variable and here i'm going to take local 
lock taken and initially I am making it as a false so that I am doing now like uh, the overloaded method first it take the lock and next it take the ref and this lock taken So lock taken. So let's copy it first. So that we are using like we are using the overloaded method. Now in the finally block we have to make a little change and that is we will check like if this lock taken if it is true then it exit the monitor dot exit. So basically like what we are doing we have we we are using the another overloaded method and that overloaded method take another variable like lock taken so according to this one like if lock taken is there then only it exit from this lock so that we have made the changes now let's run this application so once i will run this application we should see the same output and we can see the same here so this is the way we can use this another overloaded method of the monitor so in the short we can say this lock is a shortcut and it's an option of the basic use but if you want to more advanced control over the thread then you can go with the monitor even we have the wait method we have the pause all method and we have the pulse so we have we can see we can, we have more control over the threading so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you